Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to repair a rip in the seat. This isn't really a rip, it's just that the stitching has gone bad, it's failed. It's failed on both sides actually. So I'm going to show you how to re-stitch your seats. Thing is, there are two ways you can do this. There's a hard way, and there's an easy way. I'm going to do it the hard way just because I know the hard way is the right way and it's guaranteed to be good. The easy way, well it's easier. But I don't. I haven't seen any results that looked good. For the easy way, basically what you do, you get a curved needle, and you just start by going through the loops and just start looping it through and tightening it. That's how you do it the easy way without removing the cover. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the cover, I'm going to stitch it all up, and then I will put it all back in. So first thing we're going to do is take the seat out. Okay, the first thing we're going to do in the back is remove this bolt right here. And this bolt right here. So the weird thing is, these are star shaped. They're not your regu regular size bolts, they're star shaped. If you have a 12 point socket, so this isn't it, but this is, this is just the regular six point socket. If you have a 12 point, it might work. It's gonna be a, a 12 point 11 millimeter socket. If you haven't, which I actually do, this is um, an E13 style. It's got the star shape in it. It fits right on top. It's pretty snug fit. So I'm going to remove these two bolts real quick and we'll go from there. Okay, so I got the two bolts out. I moved the seat all the way back. Now let's quickly see what's up front. Okay, so up front, if you notice, there are two hooks. There's one right here and there is one right here. What you have to do is pull the seat, pull the seat back and these pop right off the hooks. So I'm going to show you just one side. Pops right off like that. Do the same thing for the other side and then we'll go from there. Okay, so on the back side right here, if you notice there's this little line that comes up right here. It connects to right here. To remove this, what you got to do is just lift this little pin up right here. Lift it up and just pop it out of place. It doesn't come out, you just have to lift it up enough to where it'll pop out by itself. I'm going to quickly do that and I'll get back to you. Okay, so now that I got this pin out, basically just pops out of this little slot right here that fits in. Pops out and you can pull it out. Next thing I'm going to do is unplug this wire right here. This wire goes up to this connector right here. If you notice, there's this tab here. And right on the other side, there's a tab as well. You just squeeze those two and it should pull out. I'm going to quickly pull it off and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now that I got the connector undone, the seat's almost ready to get pulled out. Last thing that's left to do is to remove the seat belt. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. If you lower the seat, lower the this thing by adjusting the seat height, you can actually reach the bolt that you're trying to get to. So I lowered it and I can get to the bolt right now, so I'm gonna quickly take it off with the same E14 socket that I used to remove the fastening bolts that held the seat in. Okay, so as you can see, I removed the bolt all the way. Now all I have to do is just pull up and the seat belt comes right out. Okay, so I looked around, there's nothing else holding it in place. So all you have to do is remove the two bolts that were in the back, remove the seat belt, unhook the wire, and you can literally just pull the seat out, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so the removal of this pin right here that we were trying to remove earlier is not optional. You have to remove it. I played around with it a little bit and I actually got it out, so thank goodness for that, it's out now. Um, I'm going to go to the other side, and we have again two, there's a one Torx bolt here, one here, and we have another clip down here. Uh, I find that the Torx actually T25, the T25 bit works. I'm going to use that one to remove these two bolts. Remove the clip right back here, there's another clip right back here. I'm going to remove that clip, and then we'll get going again. Okay, to finish removing this um, plastic piece on both sides, the last clip is right under the seat. So if you look right here, you have this piece of plastic that goes right in here, and there's another clip in there. Same thing goes for the other side. You just trace it down, and there's another plastic piece right there. Okay, now that I got the clips out, I'm going to remove these two guys. This one, as you can see, they should just if you try give it a little bit of pressure, it should come right off. So I'm going to pull the second one off, use a Phillips to unscrew them, and we'll give this one will come off as well. Okay, now that I got the panel off, what I'm going to do 
you have these hooks all over the seat holding the cover in. There are some under here. They're basically all over the place. So what I'm going to do now is undo all of these hooks and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I got most of the hooks off. There are a couple that are hidden right under here. There's one right there. So basically what you have to do is remove this module. You pull this clip out right here. It pops, it just goes up like that. And then this thing just pop right out. Okay guys, so I started taking the cover off. I realized why a lot of people don't want to do this the right way. If you look right under here, they have these little strap things attached. And they go all the way back holding the cover in place. Wait, luckily for me, I don't have to take the whole cover off. My tear stops right about here. I'm going to take it a little farther back and start the fix from here and work my way up to here. What I would recommend to do is use nylon thread. I've got my needle already ready for me. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do and just explain it to you. I'm going to go to the point where before the rip starts, you can see that there, you can see the, I don't know if you can see, you, yeah, you can see the string. There's some gray string right there. I'm going to poke it right into where the two meat ends meet. I'm going to put my needle into there. And it's going to come out through the other side, on the other side. And I'm going to do like, like th maybe, I don't know, three, four loops. And then move to the next hole, and then two, three loops. And move all the way down until I get to uh, the point where the rip is, ends. Over here, it ends right about here. And I'm, I'm going to work a little bit past this point, a little farther down. So basically, that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you the results once I'm done. Hey, guys. So after spending a couple of hours on this, I finally got it done. I have to tell you, it does not look bad at all. This was the first side I did. It turned out not as good as the other side. You can see the stitching it sticks out pretty, but that's probably just because of the stretch and the leather. The other side, I have to say, turned out way, way better. That's some of the string just right there. But I have to say, it turned out way better. I I, ch I went with the darker blue. Um, it It's okay. It's kind of darker. I like the fact because you can't really notice it, but I should have probably gone with the gray color. But I have to say, this from far away, this looks a lot better than it was. Okay, so I'm going to be putting the leather back. Um, I don't know if there's any right way to do this, so I'm going to start working my way from the inside out. I'm going to do these two first insides, then I'm going to do the two here, the two here, and the two there, and then I'm just going to work my way out. That's how I'm going to put it on. Okay, now that I've got all of them on, the leather's on, what I would recommend to do is don't force the pins through. Stretch the leather over. You might have to massage it over to create slack, but don't stretch, force the le um, leather through the slots. Next thing I'm going to do is just lock up the pins. I've already started a few. What I'm just using is just pliers. You just push the teeth down until it locks, and if you can, you might want to crimp it down, but that's all you got to do. Okay guys, it stopped raining, it cleaned up the car a little bit. I'm going to put in the seat, it's, it's basically the same thing as removing it, just in reverse. You get the hooks on, attach your cable that moves the seat, plug in the power, then put on the seat belt. I left the piece of plastic off that goes on this side, it goes on this side, I left it off just because I want to get this on right. That the side towards the center console I already put it on so right now basically what I'm gonna do is just put the seat on okay so I got the seat and the clips right here it's in I'm gonna now go in the back and hook up the wire so that um, moves the seat okay so I pulled the wire out pulls out pretty easily I'm going to now put it back into the slot where it goes and I'll be back with you in a sec okay now that I got that in I'm gonna hook up the wire goes up right in there. Just make sure you get the clips to clip in right there. Okay, so I got that done. I'm just going to lower the seat back. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is just put the seat belt back. The clip for it is right here. So it's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to put this guy to where he goes. And I'm just going to put the bolts in, tighten them, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is get the controller thing back on. Make sure you get the pins aligned. It shouldn't be too hard to put on once you get figured out. If you have, look here, there are notches on there. There are little pins right in there. So it should align pretty good. You might need to pull out the tap thing, like when we're removing it. Pull it out a little, 
and then plug this in. Okay, now that I got that back on, I'm gonna put on a piece of plastic back. All you gotta remember is that you have this pin right here and this pin right here. You're gonna need to carefully pop those in. First, make sure that they're in and then pop them in. Okay, so now they got it all screwed down. They got the little Phillips drive back in. Put the, these bad boys on. They should just clip right in. And then we're gonna go and tighten the two bolts that go in the back. Okay guys, so I got the seat bolted down. This is the final product. I'll give you a closer inspection how it looks. This is the side I did first. It didn't turn out that well because the stitching is really visible. But I think that's going to happen no matter what, just from the stretching. The other side was the second side I did. This one turned out a little bit better. It's less visible of stitching. It's only right here. And then you can't really see it. But I, I'm kind of happy I went with the darker color because you can't really notice it. It's not as noticeable. I'm kind of happy I did this this way. I had it easier because my tears were right here near the front. If I had a tear somewhere back here, it would be a lot harder to fix. So, I don't know, I guess it's up to you to make your decision how you want to actually do it. I did it this way just because I wanted to do it the right way. If I had a tear somewhere else, I don't know what I would have done. So, it's really up to you how you want to do it. This is just the way I did it. I like my results. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm satisfied. Thanks for watching.